Hello, hello, hello. Today, we're going to talk about this little drama that happened on PC. It was on Blue's channel. I'll put a link in the description so you guys can go check that out. Uh, I don't really want to react to it because it's an hour long. And quite frankly, it was the most brain rot shit I've ever seen. Uh, it, it's it, it, <laughs> insert the meme of this guy's load of barnacles. Are you talking about me jacking off right now? <laughs> you kept making a big deal out of you weren't doing it. This is a load of barnacles. So if you guys don't know what happened uh, on PC, there was a uh, there was a streamer and he does AFK drop streaming and he claims that he doesn't do it. And he, clearly he does. It's it's been documented multiple times. It's been he's been caught and he wanted to debate. He doesn't really know how to debate, um, which is why I don't really want to like go after a person like that, because he quite literally has no idea how to one defend himself and two, uh, I don't think he should <laughs> because he's not equipped for it. But also because he's clearly in the wrong and when you deny uh that you're in the wrong and there's tons of evidence there's a lot that goes behind that sort of thing but there's a couple points that i thought were interesting talking points and the first part is blue's defense of the streamers that are trying to break into the bdo category using drops you know drops and whatnot and afk drop streamers are a problem because they take the views away from up and coming streamers that are potentially you know trying to work their way into the algorithm on twitch and trying to work their way up the ladder and try and get some viewers and things like that and just basically find opportunities within the game uh the way you conduct yourself on twitch is really shitty and i've told you this to your face in a discord call you said blue stop yelling at me you're really passionate about this and i said yeah because you're hurting everyone else you are hurting literally every single other person below you okay every single person below you in this category suffers because you're are you AFK right now? You are literally AFK drop streaming as we are speaking. This already is the greatest thing that you could possibly call out because it is it is a problem. It is a massive problem. And just as a side note, for those of you that are unaware, console, which I'm a console player. I don't stream on Twitch because I just I'm not a fan of the platform. It's just not something that I personally enjoy and my viewers don't really care for it either. Uh, so I do all my streaming here on YouTube and I per personally, I think it's just more suited for me. However, the problem with Twitch, right, is that the console partners, we don't even get access to drops. <laughs> we don't even get access to drops at all. So uh, it, the, the fact of the matter is this guy is completely eclipsing like console viewers or whatever, or just not, not necessarily, I don't want to say eclipsing, but he's essentially just kind of like gatekeeping a little bit from the console perspective so just as like you know pc has its own issues console doesn't even have the option to abuse that shit in to begin with like we can't even use drops as a uh as a go-to thing because console cannot redeem drops for whatever reason uh we have not really gotten much clarity on why that is it's been brought up multiple times to cms and gms but we've never really gotten a clear answer as to why that is however yeah it, it's it's kind of shitty and i think that's a that's a point of view that this guy didn't really understand and he didn't really quite um you don't have a defense for that either and it's other than you know he's actively streaming but you know he says that he's actively training horses and whatnot and that's not that's not how like you can actively train a horse but you don't get the guru master 50 through actively training horses at least not all the time and it's also a point of reference that he even had a point in his video one of his most recent videos where he quite literally says 24 7 live streaming and um clearly you can't be active for 24 7 all the time and he does this all day every day um oh look at that 24 7 bdo streamer oh guys if you look really closely you can see him exposing himself this is really good why do you think 24 it's exposing? 7 black desert streamer because you can't be at the computer 24 hours a day as you said you are not at your computer 24 hours out of the day you are look, gone look but you stream the drops I'm gonna, anyway I'm gonna... don't you ghost so there's going to be some sleeping here and there and there's going to be some afk time here and there that's just how it's just how it works the next point that i want to bring up is the point of reference of fake uni and he he basically called uni his his, his editor which is like he edited one video and it was commission work which i've done that as well i've done commission work before and that that's a the, that's a common thing that you know youtubers do as a side thing especially when you're a smaller creator too but when you reference somebody as an editor you, you don't really if it's not clear on both ends that oh you work for me now or that i am going to be continuously working for you that, that that's that 
<laughs> Come on, man. And I I've never had somebody ever reference me as their editor because I, I personally don't edit for, for anybody specifically. I do commission work if somebody needs me to do something. And typically the charge is not even that expensive. Like for me, like I'll do a whole, I'll do a week's worth of videos for like, <laughs> for like 20 bucks. <laughs> like it's not even that crazy because editing is super fun and super easy to me depending on what the project is if it's a heavily edited something like a montage for example i've done montages before that are heavily edited the price on that will definitely go up drastically but if you're just like doing commentary videos or if you're just doing videos that involve straight up just you know cutting and putting minor edits in memes sound effects quality transitions things like that i could knock out an entire month's worth of videos in less than a couple days and it, it would be very simple to do and that's just like it's why it's like yo i'll do a whole week's worth of videos for like 20 bucks but it, it, as a permanent editor that is like that that's something that you and the person have to actually sit that sit down and discuss it is not just you edited one video for me and it was never discussed that we are going to have a future in this uh industry together so you should probably understand the limitations of what exactly an editor is the next point of discussion that i want to bring up is there was a lot of conversation about twitch's tos about drop streaming and i want to clarify this is a hundred percent true the, you you you, can, you are not supposed to be doing that that is not a thing uh i'll is a screenshot it, it, this is li it's literally against tos twitch has clear policies regarding afk away from keyboard drop streaming which violates their intent for community interaction and engagement twitch drops are designed to reward streamers who are actively engaged with their audience or who actively engage with their audience and simply being afk while allowing drops disrupts the system so like yeah i mean i'm not really too sure on where the, where this whole information i mean i get it people don't read the tos uh it's just a thing that happens i mean i I'm, i personally don't know the full tos on youtube and the policies i know the surface level stuff that i've experienced with but to understand and memorize the tos there's hardly any people out there that actually will do that and usually it's not something that's ever really talked about and or even sought after it's just kind of like i'm just gonna do you know what everybody else does and they're not getting in trouble so i'm not gonna get in trouble however when a situation like this comes around just comes out you need to actually go and look and read the t the tos because if you are claiming that you are correct and you are not breaking tos and in fact you are uh well that's gonna make you look 10 times worse and honestly that is going to put you in the dirt more quickly than anything else and right now in this day and age the internet loves putting people in the fucking dirt so you kind of got to be careful and for clarification i just mean putting the dirt for like you know your channel is gonna, just ends up getting destroyed because you broke tos i don't mean physically in the dirt put into the forever box if you will you know what i mean just gotta say that for legal reasons but the uh next point that i thought was interesting is his weird and odd uh, like question of have you ever tried to sell a product and give you some light feedback about that real quick like i wanna i don't know if you'll get an accurate or actual number for this but like who in chat that has ever watched an ad has clicked on it and bought some shit. uh if it didn't work buddy they would have stopped this long ago why do you think you get ads on tv it's just part of marketing and business why do you think it's a part of marketing do you, and do business? you understand what do we need? if they it didn't don't work, know they if it works it. they assume it works based on their revenue yeah because they're making more money when they put the so have you ever in. had a business okay. have you ever done marketing yes i like buddy, all of the concepts make sense content creator what are we have you oh ever had God, business dude. what so are I'm we talking, talking about selling about? a product not yourself the context is just him basically saying something along the lines i'm, I'm paraphrasing here uh like have you ever sold a product before have you ever you know worked in marketing or just you know things of that nature right and as a person who actually does sell products, especially for like things that, that are on my channel specifically, like voice mod, I actively advertise voice mod. And the reason I do that is because I actually like the product. I use the product every single day. That's my soundboard. I use it in the old tournaments when I used to stream with Guido and I used to shout cast with him. I would do the sound effects with cars. I would do the sound effects of like the Yoda death scream. I would do a ton of things that are great with voice mod. On top of that too, I also use it to change my voice on a regular basis. Such as like this, where I sound like a completely different human. Or this sound where I sound like 
I don't even know what this is. I think it's called power armor. I have no idea. So this product I actively sell on a regular basis. I'll, I don't really advertise it in the sense of put it in my videos, but I have done few, a few sponsored segments and I have advertised it a ton of times in the past before. And I, I make sales on this all the time. I, I make sales to this day where people just, you know, I, I make a percentage on the, on what it is. And listen, when it comes to discussing ads and marketing and things like that, you got to understand that most people in the content creator space are gonna have a basic understanding as to how marketing works, how business works and everything of the sort, especially uh, at the size of Blue Squadron and even myself with like 27K subs or something, whatever my sub count is, I haven't looked in a while. But my point being is that it is very easy to understand how marketing works and how and why Twitch uses ads in the way that it does. I don't really understand where he was going with this argument it honestly died off too but i thought it was an interesting talking point that this is kind of what i mean by he's flip-flopping through subjects and he's just kind of like shifting every you know few seconds which usually people in these kind of debates whenever they're having a hard time sticking to a subject they're usually just trying to move on to something else that allows them to have better talking points and makes them look a bit more intelligent and a bit more knowledgeable of the, of the subjects that they're talking about and that's something that you should never do if you're on a subject debate the subject concede defeat or agree to disagree etc uh you, you don't just keep swapping subject to subject in hopes to find a subject that you can win at because that's usually how this goes when people don't know how to debate they will keep flip-flopping through subjects in hopes that they come across one where they have some form of leverage and higher intelligence and they can somewhat push a subject against the person that they're debating and then they will try and take the lead by doing so with that which is a shit way to, to debate because you just basically kind of look very ignorant and you're just avoiding a ton of other subjects that are essentially the problem and you're looking for one that's a minor problem that you can defend yourself on and that's not something you should ever do another weird point is he asks blue squadron a question and he says do you think that you could fix twitch like you think you can fix pa At the end do you of the think day. you could fix twitch like you think you could fix pa this is a genuine question not like I don't need to fix Twitch. I, I'm actually very no, happy no, with no, this no. platform. I'm not mean? saying, do you think you could? Like, do you think you could improve it? I, I'm afraid I don't know um, if I could improve Twitch. Probably so, probably not. I have no you idea. Know who Frank, you know who Frank Abagnale Jr. is? Yeah, guys, you got so many pivots in here. I might break my ankles. You know who that is? I have no so idea who the hell that is. Catch me if you can. The guy... Are you are you comparing yourself to the catch me if you can guy? No, but I'm just saying like I would love to help Twitch weed out people who I think are actual AFKers like you're calling out. I like you how you are zoomed in an there actual that. AFKer, bro. I don't think Blue is has ever really like stated that he can fix PA. He may have jokingly said that or said it ironically or something along, along those lines. I'm not sure because I don't watch every single stream, but to my knowledge, I don't think he's ever actually said anything along those lines. But if he did, correct me if I'm wrong, sure enough. But what is the point of this question? What exactly is the point of this question? I know what the I know what the point is, it, but like I'm just asking you, do you, like do you actually have a point on where this is going cuz it's going nowhere? So he asks this question, right? And the only thing that comes to mind is he's basically trying to build a connection with Blue, find common ground where they can stand together side by side. Because after he asks this question, he then follows up with, I, I would like to help Twitch find these AFK streamers and find these you know players and help improve the platform. So he's trying to find common ground with Blue in order to justify and sort of divert the attention from him to the real problem which very much so this guy is the real problem and he's he's a bigger problem than the other ones because the other ones they're not really pretending they're just blatantly doing it which is like oh i respect them a whole lot more because at least they're just doing it and they don't give a fuck they're like whatever happens happens who cares i'm gonna get that bag while i get that bag right you you are pretending that you are not part of the problem and that you want to be part of the solution and that is way worse than any of the other guys that are doing things and this is the problem with opening your mouth is that when you insert yourself and shit like that it is a it is it is a problem because people are going to give you a rebuttal and there are going to be people that are going to speculate and question your integrity and all of that nature so i don't really understand the point of you asking this question i mean like i said i get why but i don't think you you 
really understood where that was going to get you because it didn't get you anywhere closer to blue in fact it probably drew you further away and there is no common ground that you're going to find with him because he's very adamant on where he stands and you will not stand next to him because you are the problem you are part of the problem the next and last point that i just want to talk about here is he brings up a following point where then he pivots from that entire conversation that we just talked about with him asking if blue can fix the platform he then pivots to discussing and pointing out that i would agree with you blue if <laughs> if afk wasn't in bdo if we were playing a different game i'd be more on board with what you say with that but we're playing a game that allows for it yes or no no Don't no. What do you mean no? No. The game is what? built on AFK. No. Do you log out when you go to sleep? What? No, but I'm not live. You, you don't, you, you're missing the point, dude. The point is you are AFK drop streaming. This is not BDO's policy per se. They uh, BDO does discourage and have a stance against this as well. However, we're also talking about Twitch's policy. This is Twitch's policy too. So you can't really just sit here and be like, well, you know, BDO's AFK, therefore I can AFK drop stream. That's not a green light. <laughs> that's not a, that's not even, it's a weird gray area that is complicated to discuss. However, the TOS still stands which is still stance is it is against tos to do so you cannot do it you are not supposed to do it however twitch is really shit at enforcing this rule doesn't mean that you shouldn't do it but it is definitely in the tos and definitely in the rules and it doesn't matter if bdo is afk or not even if you do afk streaming right let's just say for example afk in game you can afk in game there's nothing wrong with that there's nothing wrong with afking in the game and, and what i mean by that is just being like afk life scaling like let's say i, I do guru Al alchemy or whatever right that's my goal i want to hit guru one so i'm just going to sit here and do alchemy for 10 hours i'm not going to step away from my fucking computer for 10 hours i'm going to sit here and then do the do the alchemy while interacting with chat talking with them about things i do this all the time whenever i used to stream back in the day i used to go and grind and talk to chat i used to just afk cook or out al do some alchemy talk to chat that is what i did and bdo never left the tab and the only time it ever left the tab is if somebody sent me a video or wanted me to check something out i go and watch it for a moment we talk about it chat back tabbed into the game and we're talking about bdo again you misunderstand the whole point of what blue is trying to make is that you don't have to just sit here and and like nobody's telling you not to afk life skill nobody's saying to do that and then the afk is a loose term it is a loose term just because i do afk guru that doesn't mean i'm not guru or, or not guru i mean so i'm sorry afk alchemy right like just because i'm doing afk alchemy does not necessarily mean that like i'm literally away from the game it just means like i'm just not actively playing it because there's no way to actively play alchemy you just kind of you just kind of crap shit right it's just what you do so when when people say afk they mean quite literally away from your setup away from the keyboard away from the game you are not physically active you are not physically there it has nothing to do with the literal sense of doing something afk in game again it is a very loose term it is very very loose it is not it is not really bent on the whole idea of actually being afk all right let's just get that cleared up because it's not what it is and then with that being said i want to talk and mention blue all right the way blue handled this i appreciate the effort in defending the the little guy here and just trying to put, do a well justified defense i'm sure it was satisfying to a lot of viewers but I think that the way that they could have gone about it, which I know he didn't, the, the person in question here did not uh, make it very easy because he doesn't know how to debate. He doesn't know how to converse. He doesn't know how to have an active conversation. And he also doesn't really know how to take accountability. And that's a problem in itself. However, we as bigger creators have a responsibility to educate and correct. If we fail in that, that doesn't mean that we start attacking their views. There was a lot of times where blue quite literally attacked his views and pretty much just kind of shit on his progress as a streamer and i don't want to sit here and take away from that because maybe I, I don't know this guy personally i don't know if he's actually done hard work before or where he's actually engaged with his chat before where he's actively you know doing things and he's garnered somewhat of a small community that's actually appreciative of what he does but i think attacking somebody for being a small creator just because of an ignorant ridiculous mistake that is clearly the issue 
I think you, you're fine in just kind of approaching him and having a conversation about this. But when you start attacking his viewers, but there's ways to go about it where you don't make yourself look like you're putting yourself on a pedestal and becoming like the big guy. And I've noticed this a lot uh, in comparison to some of the older, you know, videos that you used to do. And I think it's an issue where you got to realize that just because you're at the top of the of the pyramid, that doesn't mean you get to start shitting down the pyramid either. We need to educate these creators and correct the behavior and hold them accountable, not attack them for their, you know, ridiculous <laughs> this is views. If they start attacking you, fine, whatever. I'll bet all bets, you know, off the floor here, but that's a whole different conversation. But I think that there is a way to go about this professionally. And I know you tried to do it professionally and he did not make it easy. But at that point, you know, if you've got you got your point across the, the, the whole floor here and you you've done all that you can, it, you don't just start attacking views and start attacking his accomplishments and things like that. Because even though he's AFK drop streaming, I mean, there's obviously people that do fuck with him to a degree because he does have a chat. He does have people that do talk in chat sometimes and he does occasionally address them as he stated, which uh, I'm sure that there's VODs out there or things of the sort where he has had chats with players before. And that's that's fine the issue here is educating him on his mistakes and then hoping that that educating will lead to some solutions and some accountability and a little humility where he will eventually adjust and adapt to the way that things are supposed to be so not to detract from the point of the video but i just wanted to just point that out that i don't think it's cool to just attack people for their low view counts and low whatever because then when you do that right it also sets a bad precedent for other creators that have those view counts that aren't doing what this guy's doing, right? You're like, you only have 40 viewers. Uh, I gotta be honest with you, Chief. There's a ton of people that have 40 viewers that are not doing what he's doing. And uh, so they, they might be watching the video and they might feel like, well, this guy thinks 40 viewers is shit. Maybe it is shit. And I should give up on this whole streaming thing. And I think that's a big problem. I think that you shouldn't attack views and small size channels or whatever no matter the reason being right like i said this guy is kind of kind of a kind of a little bit of a you know a little bit of a dickhead here and he's a little ignorant uh with the knowledge and things like that but again he shares a view count with a ton of other players and a ton of other people on twitch that may view those kinds of insults slash uh whatever you want to call them as observations as insulting and a bit even degrading to a degree so it's not so much that i care in the sense of like you attacking this individual per se but it's the the perception that could be potentially around other creators that may or may not hurt their feelings or discourage them from continuing onwards hearing a big streamer talk about someone's view counts being so little and so uh you know so low or whatever or being 40 to 30 i mean hell i've got 27k subscribers and whenever i stream i i sometimes barely get to 40 or 50 myself and that's just you know i don't stream that often so that's my fault but i'm just saying that hearing that that also kind of you know strikes a chord with me it's not that much of a big deal because i'm not a streamer i i do video content instead because that's my format and that's a preferred format that i like just hearing that also just kind of you know rubs me the wrong way and for people that actually stream and do streaming for real and want to try and make a career out of it or want to try and make progress with it hearing that from a person that may or may not be an inspiration such as blue again he has a bigger platform he has a higher plane of existence than other uh, other content creators on the platform so it is his job to lead by example and this is not the example you want to lead by with that being said Hopefully this guy learns his lesson and uh, he at least takes some accountability and understands that this is against TOS. This is a problem and he is part of that problem and um, maybe do research on the subjects that he wants to debate. So that way he doesn't look like such a fool. That's a big problem too. Is research is a huge thing and it's very easy. We all have these, you know, we're all, we all have these cybernetic devices called phones, computers, things that give us information it took me but 30 seconds to type in a google search and find the twitch tos which on both parts from blue and and the other guy uh neither of them for whatever reason did that i i just have no clue in, in fact it, the way i got it was i just asked chat gpt in order to pull the links for me and it just found me all the like the twitch tos and things like that so uh I, i'm just saying like this is this was a very easy 
open end discussion if we could have just found that but again they're farming content so and that, that that's just what this is about really is farming content and i'm farming content so win-win all around but anyway thank you guys for watching i will talk to you guys in the next video Bye bye